Hey everyone, welcome back to Freedom City 1165 in Surviving Mars, Below and Beyond. Right, so we're at 20% war tension on Earth, because the mystery I selected at the beginning was the last war. Now, uh, eventually, somewhere along the way, we're going to get a rocket full of refugees, so I'm not overly worried about uh, uh, growing the population particularly fast, because we're going to have too many people uh, shortly anyway. But what we've been doing is growing resources, and we have an electrostatic dust storm on the way. And that uh, that's going to complicate things. Uh, the question is, how long is it going to last? Uh, we're up to almost 10% temperature. Um, right, okay. And we're not quite sending anything down to the underground. So we'll just check in in the underground. Um, and you can see... Uh, stuff isn't getting repaired down here uh, particularly fast and that is of course terribly helpful right um, okay well let's go back to the uh, the surface okay and we'll just uh, tool on over here now we've got a pretty good collection of uh, uh, basic resources here uh, so uh, we should be able to weather the storm uh, so let's um, let's let things uh, tick along here. Uh, we'll weather the storm and uh, see what happens, right? Okay. Uh, oh well, if we do this, it'll happen sooner, right? Uh, and it is going to last uh, almost four sols. Okay, that's going to take a moment. Now, uh, if we look in here, I'm still wondering how I have seven Earth-born um, colonists. Uh, I want to... Um, is it in here? Uh, colonists. Um, um, uh, how do we how do we clear the uh, the filters entire colony um, reset filters yeah okay now um, interests traits um, okay so Uh, quirk. Um, no. Flaw. Uh, now, how do we filter for not Martian born? Um, uh, so, Martian born, right? Um, the only we have no founders, so we should have no Earthborns. Uh, so if we go Martian born, how many do we have? It doesn't say. We have a saint. Um, okay. Right. Um, huh. 124. What? Okay, I don't get it. Uh, there must have been another filter active. Okay. Um, right. So, here we go. Everything is shutting down. Uh, doing its thing. Uh, we have a dead colonist. Yay. Uh, and we have starving colonists. Yay. And uh, building's not working. Yay. Uh, we have a leak. Right. Where is it? Ah, it's there. Uh, we can handle a power leak. We can't handle the water leak. So, we'll go do the usual uh, trick here. Uh, salvage... 
that. Okay. Then we go in here and we... That's the problem with electrostatic storms is they make the... Um, uh, no, it's in here. Pipe. Yeah. They make the uh, chance of leaks higher than a regular one. Um, yeah, we can handle the power leak. Um, that's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the power leak. Um, right. Okay. Fuel explosion. Yeah, uh, that's the other thing. Leak detected. Over here. Um, okay. Well. Ah. Well, that's the big long one. Right. Okay. Um, so if we go here. Okay, no. We need to go here. Yeah, and then we need here. Um, okay, so that. Okay. Right. Uh, we have... Yeah, we're only like half a day through this thing, so... Yeah, it's going to take a minute, right? Oh, there's another leak. Um... This is kind of cheaty, but uh, it does. Uh, it does save uh, resources from. Uh, from uh, bleeding away. Now, as long as we have a surplus of power, we can let the. Uh, power ones repair themselves. Okay. Salvage that. And here. Uh huh. Right. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this, uh, while it's a little bit tedious, uh, it does uh, largely prevent running out of stored resources faster than we would otherwise. Because uh, we have a demand of 17 water, because I didn't shut any water demand down, right? And, uh, yeah, I, I don't think we need to either. Notice how fast this stuff is going down as well. And that's all down to the um, maintenance uh, load from the storm. We got another power leak. Uh, and of course, uh, it can continue leaking all at once. Uh, we're one saw through the uh, storm. Uh, we are just about through with triboelectric or tripoelectric scrubbing and we have another leak over here which um, we can go salvage that uh, right pipe there we go uh, yep that's in range so far so good there uh, it's night on the first day or second day of the uh, as the second day of the storm uh, passes by um, right 
Now it's day again. Yep, two and a half sols. Good. Um, war tension is going to continue going up. Now, uh, ultimately, I want to I want to get to uh, uh, going up to uh, an asteroid or two uh, in this uh, series, uh, mostly so that the mechanic can can uh, show up. Uh, it's a little bit clunky and tedious, but it does work. Uh, where's all the metals? Um, I don't have... A, okay, where's my transport? Transport. Where's... The metals. Huh. Load resource. Uh, okay. And confirm. Turn off automated mode. So we're going to come and load that. Yeah, and we're also going to grab this guy. He can come over here. Oh, we've got to not have it paused if we want things to happen. Yeah, that's, uh, that's an important uh, factor. Okay. Now, where's this guy? Oh, he's tooling along. Right. Oh, he's not that far uh, away. Yeah, he's got to come all the way over the hump. And we have, a, we have two cable faults. Um, yeah. And we had a lightning strike. Yeah. Uh, where, where, oh, where is the, uh, we've completed tribal electric scrubbing, uh, okay, where, oh, you're, coming down the hill. Okay. Um, we have three cable faults now. So, we get some metals in. Oh, we shot down a meteor during the storm. That's useful. Uh, okay. Then we can come over here. Has it loaded? Then we can come over here. Yep. Um, okay. Okay. Um, we have a pipe leak over here. Right. Okay. Uh, Salvage the pipe. Uh, put the pipe back. There should be metal over here uh, that it can use. Except there's no drones. Okay. That's a problem. Um, that pipe fixed? Yes, it is. Okay. So we can come down here and uh, do that. Uh, where's the... Uh, pipe leak. We got a pipe leak over here. Do we? 
Where? Okay. Cable fault. Cable fault. Uh, pipe leak. Ah, uh, where? Okay. Um, is it there? Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Uh, we grab another pipe connection. Uh, come on. Get up where I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, power leak. Okay. Okay, so what uh, what's the, the situation here? Um, okay. Um, okay, we're losing power at an alarming rate. Um, okay. Uh, let's um, let's come down here and see where we're at. We don't have uh, we don't have electronics down here. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, we don't have anything down there. Okay. Um, I think we can survive us all. Um, Uh, I could do a bunch of finagling with the transport, but I think we can survive us all here. I really need to build some drone hubs um, uh, to relay down here. Or we need to get the uh, atmosphere up so we don't need... Uh, we don't have storms, right? Now, what are we researching? Resilient architecture. Uh, okay. Uh, 23 hours in the storm, and we shouldn't be too far, um, too far from surviving that. Um, right. 23%, uh, we have low power. Uh, we will have low power because all of these guys were shut down because I don't have enough drones, I suspect. Um... Yeah, I need to uh, build some drone hubs. Uh, I need to build a drone assembler. That's what I need. Uh, do, have I researched that? Uh, um, drone assembler. I have. Do I have one? I do. Oh. Uh, Why don't I... Why don't I make a bunch of drones? Yeah, we'll make, make a bunch of drones. That would probably be useful. Um, right. Uh, okay. Um, okay, here, need to do, uh, this, where's the leak? There. Um, pipe. Okay. Right. Uh, we have, how much time do we have left here in this, oh, seven hours, okay, um, good, that will, we'll, 
Once this stops, the shuttle hubs can start going again. Oh, what's this? Um, resupply with Earth, Earth will be unavailable after five salts. Take care to order anything you need soon. Right. Okay. Well, um... Okay. Oh, there's a thing coming. Bam. Yep. Uh, you, I think we can just automate you again. Uh, right. Um, and the solar panel should be starting up again, and that should even out the power situation. There we go. Uh, until nightfall comes in. But then these things should start getting fixed. Because we do have the machine parts. Um, yes. We do have the machine parts to fix those. And isn't that a lovely sound? Uh, the um, turbines coming back online. There we go. Our power is back. Good. Um, right. Okay. So power, O2, and water are all going up again. So that's good. Um, right. Okay. So we have... We are building. Uh, we are building uh, a drones. Okay, good. Uh, right now, if we go in here, transportation. We have. Why do we have a drone hub with no drones? That's a good question. Yeah, that's a really good question. Uh, why do we have drones in the rocket? Hmm. Okay. Um, right. Well, that might have been part of the problem, having no drones at a drone hub. Uh, you have four drones. That's definitely not enough. Uh, right. Okay, so definitely uh, the number of drones is an issue. Okay. Uh, let's go uh, let's go check in down here. We have a cave in. Yeah. Uh, we have buildings not working. We have a lack of power here. Okay. Now, if I, if I do this, used to be you could scroll all the way out to this. Um, look here. Yeah. Okay. So if I grab this guy, bring him over here. Yeah. Yeah, then I can fix this guy, right? Um, good. Now uh, we're 11% on uh, resilient architecture. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, let's check in on the uh, science. Carbonate processor is next. Um, what, uh, what should I be looking at here? Rover printing, maybe. That'd probably be good. 
Uh, but what's uh, some cheaper stuff that I should be getting? Um, yeah, let's look at the cheaper stuff over here. Um, asteroid landers. Uh, the recon center. Okay, let's um, let's take these guys out out of here. Um, underground domes. Uh, let's just um, research all the cheap stuff coming down here, and. Uh, yeah, we'll let that um, that uh, tick along. Um, there's some useful stuff in there, like uh, being able to near the bottom of it, being able to turn uh, buildings into prefabs. Yeah, uh, very useful. Um, then you can decommission stuff into prefabs, uh, and then recommission it later. Uh, that's a very useful uh, mechanic. Um, now, uh, how is this? Uh, okay. Meteor storm. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now we'll go... Uh, okay. I think we probably need to hmm yeah we we need uh, we need a population increase yeah uh, we took some uh, serious sanity hits and so on from the uh, the storm like our population dropped by uh, uh, seven thereabout right so as if we look in here um, we have um, three renegades. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, right. Is there anything up here that we, we want to um, look at? No. Well, there might be. We could uh, go check in over here. Uh, contact. Exchange text. Uh, okay. I mean, there's no reason not to share the text with the other colonies because uh, they're not really competing with you for anything other than milestones and uh, uh, anomalies, uh, orbital anomalies, right? Planetary anomalies. Um, so it's um, it's not that uh, that big of a uh, a deal. Uh, and you might, and then you can get, you might, you sometimes get a tech that you don't have that is useful. Uh, right, what are you? Safari, right. I could disassemble the Safari. Um, if I did that, oh yeah, you only get five metal and five. Yeah, that's uh, not, uh, not useful. Okay. Uh, I might need the safari for uh, planetary anomalies later, so uh, we'll, we'll keep that. Um, okay, now, we have 20 children, so that's, um, that's definitely good. Right, where's the, uh, where's the next uh, thing I need to do? Um, well, it's... Partly a waiting game to let this stuff recharge. Um, and the population recharge, right? Uh, war tension's up to 26%. Uh, we should have the refugee rocket coming soon. Uh, uh, what I... Um... Okay, right. These rockets are fueled up, so I could go ahead and what? 
Ram Rattles Production 1. Uh, ah. Right. Okay. Okay, well, this stuff is going up at the very least. Uh, well, maintenance is uh, is taking a, uh, a beating, though, on those. Yeah. So what... What if I went in here, build a tribo? What if I put one of these in here? Say here? It takes 11 metals and 5... Okay. Now we've got... Uh, asteroids appearing. <coughs> um, right. We're not going to be able to do anything with those until we can get a lander. Uh, first asteroid. Da 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 da. Uh, gain one micro G auto extractor prefab. Okay. Well, that'll be useful, but we don't have a rock that we can send there yet. Nor do we have the resources to do anything with it. Uh, but we could... Yeah. Yeah, we can't go there. Because uh, we don't have the, the scanning operation, right? Uh, so, yeah. Uh... Okay, come on. Get the metals in there and finish building it. There we go. Now, do this. Now, we should see... The thing... Puff. And periodically knock this bar back. Yep, see? The bar is going down on average. So, um, yeah. So just doing that will reduce the, uh, the maintenance. See? And if I put another one, say, over here, so that it's in range of this one, they can actually protect each other. Uh, yeah. They can actually protect each other. Uh, so... Uh, so as you can see, right, we have a cold wave coming. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a second one of those uh, over here. Yeah, over, no, over here. Does, is that in range? Um, not quite, I don't think. Uh, no, I think it is. Uh, okay, so if I put that there, yeah, I'll just uh, take take that. It'll take some maintenance off of these as well. Uh, and we might be able to get the dome as well. I don't think the domes are uh, covered by that though. Uh, and these things, they take uh, they take electronics maintenance. But, if you can get them covering each other, then they don't. Right? Now, this isn't enough to protect them from uh, a great dust storm. 
uh, you can't, uh, okay. Nope, that doesn't get everything. Um, okay. Um, need a third one to do. Uh, so if I put it here. Maybe if I put it here. Yeah, maybe if I put it there. Yeah. Okay, that's... Um, okay, we got a, a quake underground. Um, right. Uh, I, I haven't really uh, used, uh, used these things much, right, in previous playthroughs. But given the demand on machine parts here, and the uh, demand on these things, uh, all of that, it seems like it, it might be a useful thing to do to have uh, a few of these running. See, now they're all covered. Now let's uh, take a look in here. Uh, when this one goes off, this should go down, right? Uh, that's that's the goal, right? That uh, uh, okay, so there it goes, and there it goes down. Yep. So these are are a uh, scheme for avoiding uh, paying for maintenance, um, and we have our uh, supply cut off, um, right? So now uh, we've got. These guys aren't taking maintenance regularly. Uh, this, this guy isn't. This guy isn't. This guy is. Because uh, I don't think a tribo can hit the uh, middle of the dome. Um, so if we look in here, uh, five and five now there. Uh, eight, three. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, meteor storm, uh, uh, okay, we're going to collect something. Um, so if we look over here, oh yeah, we're, we're dropping meteors down here, so that's not a, not an issue. Um, we're 40% through on underground dome construction, right? Uh, none of that's ex exceedingly useful, really, but uh, it is uh, it is something that uh, uh, we might want in the future to play with, right? Um, right. Now, war tension's up, going up to thirty percent soon. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, 20 hours for the cold wave. Now I'm just going to go in here and take a look. Now let's just be a little... Okay, we want the auto extractor, the micro G one. Uh, we, we're definitely going to want these. They take uh, exotic uh, metals. Um... um Right, and we're going to want this one. Uh, we, and we can have underground shuttle hubs. Uh, we'll definitely want extended cargo modules. Um, yeah, that one's not so critical. Signal boosters increases the range of those. Uh, underground psych studies, no. Uh, increase the landing time for asteroids. We'll definitely want that one. Uh, okay. And uh, 
deep deposits on asteroids. Yeah, prefab refab is is uh, one that we'll definitely want. Um, right. Um, low resource food. Uh huh. So we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna go down here, and we're gonna go in here, and we're going to. And we're going to turn off only specialists. And we're going to do the same here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to uh, make sure that our uh, food uh, supply doesn't run out. Right? Uh, because we definitely need to have um, enough uh, enough food, right? Uh, right. I might consider also uh, we could go into here. We might consider an outside ranch. That might be that might be worth doing. Because it produces a ridiculous amount of food. Uh, it needs to... I want it in range of the tribo. Uh, you could put it right here. Yeah, it's in range of the dome. Bam. Yeah, I'm going to build one of those. Uh, and you'll see why in a minute. Uh... Yeah, after I get this built, I'm going to put the cut in. But you'll see why in, in a minute. It'll annoy the vegans, but uh, it will... Tensions are, are rising. Things are spiraling out of control. Uh, it's now set two minutes to midnight. Right. Okay. Right. We have the cold wave... Um, and not enough power. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um, we're 80 short. Um, uh, what can we shut down? What are you using? 10. Okay. Okay. Well, I could go ahead and build a couple more of these here. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be 40-some. Uh-huh. And... Uh, maybe put... Maybe put... Uh, hmm... Okay, do this, and this, and this, and this. Yeah. So we'll build those. Uh, that's because I built the tribos, right? Um, so we'll get those built. Underground dome construction we have researched. Um, right. Um, okay. Now, this drone hub. Um, why don't we put a few more drones in there? Yeah. Okay, all of those come up. And then we go... Okay, pause that. Build the upgrades. 
right. Holy Dome. Um, with the further expansion of the colony, there's a petition among our growing religious community to proclaim ours a holy land. This is a sensitive subject. It could serve some controversy in the colony. One, such a great idea. All religious get morale. All others get a mor morale penalty. Mars is for all humans regardless of their beliefs. Religious get morale penalty. This is absurd. Religion has no place on Mars. Comfort of all religious colonists set to zero. Non-religion is called non-religious colonists get a morale boost. Let's try that one just for for giggles. Right now, uh, here if we change this to cow, uh, we get uh 12 souls 300 food potentially okay so we're gonna have beef on mars um <clears throat> and we're gonna let it populate how it wants to right and we have a cold wave it's gonna be five souls now watch this will be the long winter um Right, so that's why I decided to build that. Uh, is even if we get 75 food, right, out of our our uh, cattle, it's in uh, that's going to make a huge difference, right? Our quinoa will continue being produced and uh, doing its thing, and we don't uh, specialists not accepted. No, we'll accept specialists. Ah, okay. So anyway, uh, we've got our uh, power uh, is uh, balanced out, so everything should be good there. Um, this is going to be a problem. So uh, I'm going to need to do something about, about that. Um, right, so that's going to be the problem to uh, fail to notice next time. Uh, so I guess with that, I'll, I'll put the cut here. And uh, on the way out, I'll mention that I have a Patreon. So if you want to support the channel for some unknown reason, known only to yourself, then you can head over to the link in the doobly-doo and, uh, yeah, give it a shot. Uh, otherwise, you know, don't feel guilty or anything like that. It's there if you want to. Otherwise, you know, just ignore it, like everybody else does. Okay, uh, that said, uh, there's nothing else really to say, so see you back next time.